There are many baffling, anomalous artist depictions that litter the megaliths all over the rainforest which now submerge the super-civilization or mega-metropolis which was once known as the Mayans. Pekal's tomb and the strange rocket designs we have shared before, location now unknown, the seal seemingly showing a craft of ancient high technology, indeed not to mention his choice to have a vivid green death mask. All mere coincidence? Even the stolen plaque, fortunately photographed before its mysterious theft, depicting a doomsday event. Volcanic eruptions in the background, with drowning natives, which accompanied a mass submersion found and subsequently stolen from Tikal. Mere coincidence? Yet with all these compelling pieces of evidence, all these artistic accounts, whether through cover-up or lack of discovery and accurate artistically created depiction. Of this event of a peaceful trade via ancient alien contact, what the argument needed to become unarguable may have just been discovered deep in the Mayan rainforests. Accurate depictions created in brittle yet precious jade tablets of considerable proportions, artistic interpretations of these events, and the giving of gifts actually once occurring. A statement released by Julia Levy, the Minister of Tourism for the Mexican state of Campache, Luis Augusto Garcia Rosado, the highest-ranking government official to go on record confirming the discovery of this possible extraterrestrial life, said, quote, Guatemala, like Mexico, home to the ancient yet advanced Mayan civilization, has also kept certain provocative archaeological discoveries classified and now believes that it is time to bring forth this information. Rosado spoke of contact, quote, between the Mayans and extraterrestrials, supported by translations of certain codices which the government has kept secure in underground vaults for some time. In a telephone conversation with the rap, he also spoke of, quote, landing pads in the jungle that are 3,000 years old, end quote. 